This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and I'm going to make some collard greens today. It's the first time I've ever made them like this, and you can see my granddaughter over there. There she is. <laughs> see her right there? <laughs> All right, she's down here, and my grandson's over here, and and we're going to do this, and I've never fixed it like this before, and we're going to try it and see how it turns out. I've got some smoked pork jowls whole. <laughs> I, I've never used these before, but I figure it's got to put some flavor <clears throat> in the collard greens. So I'm just going to cut this, a big piece of this up, and put it in the um, pot. And I'm going to let this cook a little bit. And then I'm going to put the collard greens in here. And this is, I don't know, I don't know how this is going to taste. I guess it'll be kind of like fat meat, which is kind of what I wanted, but I couldn't find any like my grandma used to use when I went to the store. So I'm just going to do this and hope that it turns out okay. So I'm just going to try to cut these. God, this is, this is some hard stuff right here. Um, okay, look. Alright, so I'm cutting this up. Ugh. And you can tell kids to be quiet all day. You can see, here's the, the size of it that I'm putting in here. And I'm also using a new, um, camcorder my other camcorder bit the dust so I had to go out and get another one and this is a Sony um, 54 times zoom or whatever all right so I've got this my um, new wave precision induction cooktop sit on sear to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to put in one tablespoon no it's a half a tablespoon a half a tablespoon of kosher salt and I'm going to put in a half a tablespoon of coarse ground black pepper alright they're down here with me this morning so their mama's still sleeping. And I'm going to put in like a, let's see if you can see, just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes in with this. And I'm going to bring this up to a boil and let it boil for a few minutes and get those flavors melded in. And then I'm going to add the collard greens and I'll bring you back when I get ready to do that. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is coming up to a um, boil now, and I'm going to go on and add. I have two bags of Glory Collard Greens, and it's a pound of them, but for five... Oh, gosh, that's good. Just dropped part of it in the floor. <laughs> for five of us, that's not very much, especially if the kids like it. Plus, this cooks down. And I don't know how to cut up collard greens, so that's why I get the bag cut. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to put in the other bag. It's just falling everywhere. I'm just going to use my hands. These are bigger leaves than they normally are. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now I'm going to put this, um, just keep this cooking, get all these leaves off the table <laughs> and put them in here and I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, I'm back. It's been about uh, two hours, maybe a little over two hours since I um, started cooking these and I put some in a bowl so I can taste them. Mm. I do not like vinegar on them. Most people do, but I just like them cooked. Oh. And because of those red pepper flakes, they have a spicy kick to them. But they're still... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And that meat that I used... Mm. Gave them a good taste. Mm. Alright, I hope you like this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to um, be a part of my Facebook book group, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash food prepping which is one word f-o-o-d-p-r-e-p-p-i-n-g and i hope you have a good day bye